Ready? Okay, we're on. Yeah, you do your bit. Okay. So you better, uh, you better talk. Yes, okay. Yeah, we thought as it's a little bit quiet at the moment, we would um, teach people how to live stream. How to live stream. Basically what you need is equipment like this. So he's got a tripod. Okay. Um, we're seeing both, so obviously you can watch both these feeds. Um, so it's, you're seeing both sides at once. So yeah. unique opportunity. Yeah. Right, <laughs> so basically what you need is a modern phone. Something yeah. that can run, the software we use is called Bambooza. Yep. So any recent Android, I think, or, or Apple phone, an iPhone 4, or, um, um, or a 5, or a 6, if you're rich enough to have a 6. A, a 6? What? A, a 6? Yeah. No, it's not. It's, that's a Galaxy. <laughs> okay, that's a Galaxy. That's a Galaxy. Yeah. Get, get in there. Okay. okay. So anyway, yes. Uh, okay, this is actually uh, Martin, uh, mhoost42. Nice. This is live stream uh, channel. Well, okay, yeah, we're using, uh, yeah, we're using Bamboo, sir. There's a few other yeah. ones. Unfortunately... Yeah, Ustream. Yep, uh, uh, Ustream, live, live stream. stream. Which is the... Uh, which has got the same unfortunate thing it was the same as the Hoover and they invented the technology so uh, yeah so live stream when it went to as they say Hoover to uh, back in the house yep um, uh, live used stream to... and used to in both American companies so yep. if you want to see things going on in America they tend to be the places to go yeah um, and uh, Ustream is used by uh, NASA in order to show anything in you know that they work in space and everything else it's uh, uh, one of those things we, I think we, we have a phone we call we prefer Bambooza because the servers are in Sweden they're particularly friendly towards activists um, because they're in the, the all the video that you you um, catch um, goes straight to servers in Sweden. Um, so it leaves the country right away. Um, we also have um, people at various secret locations recording important streams. So there are multiple locations on the internet where things are recorded. So if something is seen, it can never be unseen, which is something that. Um, Autocratic governments around the world really hate. Yeah. Uh, also, the case that uh, Spain just recently passed a law saying that uh, you can't um, you can't video the police while they're working in uniform. So what's happened? Actually, the, there were a number of people, a uh, number of live streamers using Ustream in this, in Spain. They've stopped doing that and actually gone off to uh, Bamboozer. By the same time, those who are still using Ustream make sure that when they're actually in an action, they would have it downloaded immediately. Yeah. That way. If the, when the police actually complain uh, to have it deleted, then it's actually it's already they, they already have a copy yeah. somewhere else, maybe in YouTube, maybe in uh, uh, on another uh, another site. Of the internet and that uh, anything can have multiple copies. Um, as yeah. soon as content gets created, it can be copied. Yeah, exactly. I mean, at the moment in time, Bamboozer, Bamboozer is the favorite in Europe and also in the Middle East. You'll yeah. find them in uh, Syria. Uh, in the in the West Bank and uh, Bambooza works very well. Yep. Recently, Occupied News Network, Carry uh, Scriptonet was actually using uh, Bambooza because uh, Livestream uh, Livestream.com was not working. Ustream would, but then actually it's it's not really as friendly. Ustream is actually the favorite in the United States. It works with phones. Uh, last year, Ustream would not work in any phones anymore. Yeah. You had to use a laptop, and that's actually quite fiddly. The first two years we were doing uh, li uh, live streaming, we destroyed about seven laptops. <laughs> so it was yeah. not a very good idea. Yeah, it this, wasn't this, ideal. This whole technology came out of the original Occupy movement, and uh, so the originals. Uh, oh, we've got a car coming. Hold on. Okay, we have a car. Oh, sorry. Yeah, car right coming. Right. Traffic. So we better do it the hidden. Right. Okay. Yes, and originally the only way to do it was uh, with a laptop and with a, uh, a trolley full of uh, car batteries to keep the whole thing going. Yeah. But so now the battery packs are pretty small and you can get them pretty much anywhere. Mm -hmm. This is the one I'm using at the moment. Yep. And the other trick is um, to have two phones. I'm charging the phone I was using earlier at the moment. So that's recovering now, being charged. Uh, while the phone that I was using is is um, is draining, so you don't need two contracts, which is um, a big saving. You just need one phone on a contract with a data plan, mm -hmm. which you use for your phone, and the other one can be a phone just with a pay-as-you-go SIM in it, because you don't need to use the mobile data at all. What you do <laughs> is you um, use your main phone. Uh, in hotspot mode and connect over Wi-Fi. 
And the big advantage of that is that um, your phone can receive Wi-Fi and transmit um, the mobile signal, and that doesn't use so much power as you would drain the, drain the internal battery faster than you recharge it. Mm. Whereas if you're trying to do all three things at once, if you're trying to broadcast um, with, the video, with the live video on the screen and transmit, then um, there's no phone that you can buy that will actually charge fast enough from the external battery, apart from the really, really fancy commercial yeah. gear like well, people like Rutley use. Yeah, I mean, uh, Russ, uh, large, uh, Rutley would cost about probably 50,000 yeah. pounds. But in the, the stuff that we had, like I, I tried the Sony Xperia Z, advantage it's actually waterproof so that means if it rains you're okay yeah disadvantage it dies very quickly yeah so i think it is okay this is crap <laughs> i could yeah. only live stream for about an hour and that's it it died it was nuts so uh, yeah if you, if you have two phones um typically a, a phone second hand phone about um 40 50 pounds it should be perfectly adequate as a second phone for streaming yeah but it's um, always good to actually have these but then if uh, if you're in a uh, like a, a site which that doesn't have very good signal, oh boy, I think yeah. I just do offline. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Remember, like uh, yeah, I remember like a chunky mark out taxi driver. Yeah, he just uses uh, an iPhone four, and that's actually what uh, three years old. Yeah, and but then he does it offline. And he posts it up into YouTube. You can yes. do that, or he never does live stuff. Yeah, he doesn't really. But uh, if you're if you're just taking um, taking videos and. and Putting them up later, then you don't get the immediacy, the advantage of, uh, of live streaming, that you get the two-way communication with the viewers. Yes. They find things out for you, as uh, as we found in the streaming today. Looking up, posting URLs, things like that, um, is, is something that you just just can't happen if you're not live. Uh, the live is the important part. Mm. And uh, the fact is actually uh, your phone, if your phone say gets acid accidentally damaged or uh, destroyed, then uh, it's up there already. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and a bit, of, a bit on the technical side, um, because we're dealing with uh, very limited bandwidth a lot of the time, in that you're just taking advantage of whatever internet, mobile internet bandwidth is available in the area. Um, you have to um, consider it's not like television; it's like radio with pictures. Um, compose your shot and keep still, uh, because if there's not a lot moving in a shot, there's not a lot of data that needs to be transmitted. If I do this then it's probably going to be a bit blurry. <laughs> uh, but people don't tend to do that a lot of the time. So yeah, for the most part, yeah. Keep, uh, so keep the camera still and yeah. people will, the picture will stabilise and people will be able to see what you, you're talking about. Exactly. So that means actually sometimes it does give you, uh, yeah, it does actually give you a headache when, uh, when, the, when the live stream moves too uh, quickly. So yeah. just uh, walk slowly. Unfortunately, just uh, take your time. Sometimes you have to be patient. Yeah. And uh, uh, what does that? Oh, yes. The, you can actually have a... Um, uh, I mean, in some cases, when we actually uh, long-term size where there's no electricity around, we do actually use uh, car batteries. But then it's you can, and then solar panel, car battery, and then actually, uh, but then actually that gets more into the uh, if you're going to anti-fracking camps and uh, places outside London. And of course, when there's no 4G, we have to uh, use 3G, and that's going to be mainly as outside uh, outside the cities as well. Although apparently Edinburgh has actually better uh, 4G uh, connection than uh, London. <laughs> I didn't know that. Yeah, this is this is a 4G signal that you're seeing at the moment. Um, and with 4G, you can um, often transmit in 640 by 480 mode, which is uh, um, virtually television quality. Um, okay. In fact, when I was doing a uh, a 4G broadcast at the big Ga and uh, Gaza march, um, Al Jazeera actually took my feed off the of the speeches. Yeah, and and, and Al Jazeera really owes you money. Actually, to actually improve your, uh, keep improving your gear, really. We do need, uh, the thing is, uh, we, um, our, our, the batteries uh, theoretically should last at least eight hours, really. But then they tend to last maybe four. And then now a couple of my batteries only last uh, something like an hour each. Because uh, we do sort of abuse them a bit. <laughs> yes, the phone battery gets a lot of um, fast charge and discharge when you're... Uh when yeah. you're doing this sort of work, it, yeah. it does put a lot of stress on the phone. Yeah. Oh, and the most important thing, always bring your charger with you. Do yeah. not leave it at home, you're going to need it. If you can, yeah, have a power bank, but also have your charger with you all, at all times. And if there's a free, uh, free uh, three-pin plug somewhere, uh, use it. <laughs> yeah, your phone will take, uh, depending on the size of the battery and how fast it charges, the phone will take two or three hours to recover. Um, 
if you if you manage to drone it all together. Yeah, they are get they are getting much cheaper, like um, 20, 25 pounds. That's if you buy them off the internet. Mm -hmm. If you buy them offline in the shop, you're probably looking at about 30, 40 to 60 pounds. Yeah. yeah. A bit <laughs> oh, and uh, oh, code of conduct. Yes. Yeah. Very importantly, because uh, people have been complaining about uh, things people have been, um, some live streamers have been doing, especially in the anti-fracking camps and also Manchester, not London based. Uh, the problem we have is actually uh, they've been live streaming, how do you call this, uh, people's dirty laundry. Like, if they're having a conversation, it's a private conversation, it's not Big Brother, okay? <laughs> We're here to actually uh, point, uh, project the views of the activists that are not being um, covered by the mainstream. Yep. Uh, but we're not there to actually, uh, you know, like, uh, I don't know, somebody talking about uh, uh, mundane things or even just arguments. We don't, I mean, it's, I'm thinking the most, that's actually, that's not anything that really should be in the, in the, uh, in yeah. the interests the of uh, the public. The point is, if you can overhear a private conversation, so can the world. Yeah, exactly. So that means move away yeah. or... Or, uh, or even, uh, yeah, oh, and also if you're uh, in a meeting uh, of a group of people and they said they don't want it to be, the whole group says that please don't live stream it, don't live stream it. Like I said, I'm thinking to myself, like it's um, uh, the only time we would actually say no would be if it's actually because they're government uh, employees, uh, yeah, like, like the police. Because the fact that it's um, the Metropolitan Police have already said, we uh, encourage the public to take photos and uh, to video the, the police, yeah. and that's our main thing. We are there to protect the act activism and to actually um, show the world what's happening, rather than actually to uh, uh, to do I don't know, to do the work of the police or whatever it is. <laughs> okay. And um, I think uh, that's uh, mainly it, really. That's it. Yes. Um, anyway, guys. Yeah. It's, a, it's, a, it's an interesting hobby. You, if you've got the kit and you see something happening. Okay. Uh, if, you, if you've got the kit, if you've got the spare battery, you've got if you've got the phone, you've got the software on the phone, most okay. importantly, and tag uh, tag your broadcasts. Oh yes. With uh, at least hash O N N, uh, and then uh, and, and, and hashtag all Twitter the sex. and Facebook to your Bamboozer account. And exactly. Then when you start broadcasting, people will notice. We have we have volunteers that sit sit on Twitter looking looking for fresh broadcasts with yeah, those exactly. tags. Oh, if you can, uh, so send it to at OccupyNN, that's Occupy News Network, that's our Twitter uh, Twitter account. So if you send, uh, that's hashtag OLSX, hashtag ONN, and at, the at sign, OccupyNN, and we would actually, it would be picked up by peop, uh, people who actually manning, uh, yeah, who are actually staffing our uh, Twitter account, like, uh, you know, peop, uh, people like uh, UK Watching who would actually see it, and they would actually re uh, check it out, and then retweet it uh, for uh, all the world to see. Um, yeah, uh, nothing actually else comes to mind, really. Yeah. <laughs> we've, we've probably forgotten to uh, say a few things. Oh yes, bring an umbrella if it's raining. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the equipment doesn't like getting wet. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't, unless you have a, a smartphone that's actually um, waterproof, but then again, yeah, they don't actually, yeah. it doesn't. Um, and batteries getting wet is not a, not a very clever idea. Yeah, exactly. I guess the news out there that they don't want you to know. Exactly, Joe Wobbly. Oh yes, another thing is this. If you don't have um, the battery power, or you don't actually have any um, any data at all available, uh, what you can do is actually you can um, you don't have to use Bamboozer. If you want, you can all you can always uh, uh, use uh, the video settings of your of your uh, smartphone, and then afterwards upload it to YouTube. Create a YouTube account, upload it, then send it again to us uh, at OccupyNN, and then we will actually be able to to to, uh, to tweet that out as well. Uh, do it landscape, don't do it uh, portrait, always, uh, you know, your phone sideways, and then you can actually do that. I can, that's what uh, uh, people like Artist Taxi Driver do, and they're uh, doing quite well. Don't just upload it to you uh, to Facebook, because no one's going to see it, apart from people, apart from your friends. But uh, YouTube yeah, that, is actually that, that, quite that's good. That's an interesting thing, actually, in that um, Russell Brand's latest part life um, thing. Mm -hmm. uh, he he uploaded that to both Facebook and YouTube. Yep. And the Facebook, uh, when I checked last, the Facebook version had two and a half million views, and the YouTube version only had about a million. Only had a million. Okay, that's uh, actually the. So in his yeah. case, the the Facebook one was more effective. The more people viewed the Facebook one. Oh, but then the that was actually the, on his Facebook fa fan his page, page, though. Yes. Yeah, that was on the fan page. Yes. But most of us don't have fan pages. We we just have personal profiles. So. Yes. If it's your personal profiles, it would only be your uh, friends on Facebook who see it, or friends of friends. If it's on YouTube, uh, there are a, a, a lot more. Plus the fact people who don't use Facebook will be able to see it as yeah. well. 
there are a lot of people that don't do that. And yeah, there's, uh, uh, there's also people that, that, that seem to have problems watching Mambuza, people with, with certain mobile phones and things. Yeah. Uh, whereas um, watching YouTube seems to be a pretty much universal um, application that just about anything that pretends to connect to the internet can do. Yeah, exactly. So, so which is, so uh, in bed in some really cases. important things need to be transferred to YouTube. Yes. <laughs> and yeah, uh, we we have to do that. Although at the moment I only try to uh, post up anything less than 15 minutes. Anything more than that, I prefer to actually keep it in bamboozer. That way, uh, more uh, yeah, uh, keep uh, at least uh, I'll keep uh, some rights for it. That way, it doesn't actually uh, get I don't know, it's actually get not exactly stolen, but I don't think it's really uh, that's the correct word. But like uh, used by somebody else for uh, other purposes that we would not like. Um, anything? Uh, what? Mm, anything else to add? Anything? Any uh, questions, guys? I think we. Uh, yeah, apart from questions, I think we can sort of cover everything. Okay, I think. Okay, we can. Uh, we can go off and have some tea. Anyway, guys, uh, this uh, we're out here, uh, Kingford Assembly yeah, Hall. It's all. It's, it's, everyone's disappeared. Yeah. Most of the police. So. Okay. Yeah, the police as well because uh, they don't know where any Duncan Smith is. But anyway, ideas, guys. If uh, you have a smartphone, you're not, you're not working at the moment. Come down to a protest. And that can be your, uh, yeah, your work for a while, which yeah. we do as well. Oh, yeah, yeah. For, for Occupy Democracy. Oh, yeah. Next Friday. Oh, yes. Uh, Occupy Democracy, October 20, sorry, November 21st. That's a Friday night. We will be back in Parliament Square. We will be there on uh, uh, for the weekend talking about democracy. But yes, please, if you, uh, if you have the time, please come down and yeah. visit us, especially if you could actually come out down at night. No sleeping bags are allowed. Tarpaulins, you'd get arrested. But uh, please dress warmly. Have um, have um, waterproofs on you. Uh, you know, uh, uh, tops and bottoms, of course, waterproof because. Uh, yeah, waterproof trousers are important. Yeah, yeah waterproof trousers are going to be important. Uh, is, a, is a large bin bag different to a tarpaulin? Uh, I think it would actually be seized, and you'd probably be arrested if you have a bin bag as well. So if you can, make sure you wear it. Ah uh, yes, pizza boxes are definitely a no-no. <laughs> uh, hi Daniel, um, there were actually a few hundred people uh, of uh, job seekers actually coming down because uh, they were threatened. There was a letter saying stating that if they don't, uh, if they don't attend their uh, uh, their appointment, they might might lose their benefits. <laughs> so some people actually, that. so That's some people, threat, isn't it? yeah, exactly. So the, if uh, so, some guys actually had to use a, a fiber just to get down here, and that means. No lunch or dinner for them today. Just remember, seventy-five pounds a week. Oh, well, they got the, had a bag of sweets and some popcorn. Though. Oh yeah, they were actually. Left to keep them going for the day. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, uh, small, uh, a small, I don't know, what do you call it? Glass, uh, plastic mug of uh, popcorn. Yeah. And probably a, 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 a one sweet that should actually be good enough for the peasants. Yeah. Yeah, they should be. <laughs> they should be grateful. They're getting chocolate. One chocolate a day. That should be enough for the peasants. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> I'll put you through that. Ah, <laughs> uh, boy. Yes, so yeah, the only thing, yeah, October 20th, uh, November 21st, we will be back at um, Parliament Square. And then from then on, we will be there one weekend a month till the, well, till the May elections. So it should be nice and fun. We'll see what happens. Okay. Oh, really? Okay. Right. The meeting is promoted not by the DWP, but by the Chingford Conservative Association. Yeah. You've got to be kidding me. It's not even, but then um, the letters came from the job centre. Fascinating. So the Chingford Conservative Association cracks the whip for the job centre, does it? So, okay, Conservative, uh, yeah, Con Chingford Conservative Association are in charge of the Department for Work and Pension staff. Hmm. It's an odd belief. Thank you, Daniel. Thank you. I wish Very you odd. Know that. Okay, guys, thank you so much. Uh, we'll be back. I think we'll, we need to get some tea and uh, maybe a, a donut or something. Yes. <laughs> Thanks guys, so uh, peace out and I'll uh, see you later. Or oh, do we have gone to the pub? Okay, just a moment. Okay. Okay, good. Right, right.